We're continuing now with Dr. Gerald Simmons. He is a Houston physician. As we pointed out before, he is a triple board certified neurologist, which is very important, by the way, and I hope people understand that. And he is a specialist in sleep disorders. I understand you're doing a study right now that uh, is looking into teeth grinding as one of the main things. You're learning what, why people do that? Correct. Well, what we found is that, and for years I've been monitoring the symptoms of individuals with sleep apnea, um, and what we now realize is that 25% of patients that have obstructive sleep apnea actually grind or clench their teeth during their sleep, okay? And what's more interesting is when we treat them with CPAP, more than half of them have improvement or complete resolution of the grinding and clenching problem. So now what we're coming to realize is that when people are asleep, when they start having obstructive breathing, one of the things that the brain tries to do is to help breathing out. So it tries to bring your jaw forward and your tongue forward. So the grinding and clenching is actually an attempt to protect the airway. So that's what we're finding is uh, this relationship. Is, is the CPAP the only way to treat that? No, there's other ways of treating it. CPAP is the most reliable and most effective. And especially when someone has a lot of pain in their temporal mandibular joints when they first present with this problem, yeah. CPAP is really the only thing we, we really implement. But there are other ways of treating this, such as dental appliances. Well, leave them right there. The okay. camera can get a good shot of them. These well, are... here, let me show you. This is um, right here. You have uh, an appliance like this. It goes onto the upper tooth, and then another part that goes in the lower teeth. And then there's a hook here. So basically, this prevents the jaw from going back. This is a treatment that can be used for patients with sleep apnea, okay? And um, it can also be used for people that just snore, all right? Because it brings the jaw forward. It prevents the jaw from falling back. Because when your jaw falls back, your tongue goes back as well, and then your airway becomes obstructed. So by keeping your jaw forward, you can prevent the obstruction from occurring. And there's a little screw on this particular device. This is called a tap. Um, Very interesting. And indeed. it can be adjusted. Yeah, well, obviously, if, if your teeth are locked in place, you're, you're not going to do a lot of grinding. Right. Well, what we do is we put someone on CPAP initially. Once all the pain calms down, then we could advance them to an appliance like this. Here's another instance where we have a patient who is suffering from what Dr. Simmons just talked about. Her name is Karen Brady. Karen had several problems with her sleep consisting of snoring and restless leg syndrome, but she also had bruxism. And that is grinding and clenching of her teeth during sleep and experiencing jaw pain and headaches. So Karen, tell us about the problems you were having before you were evaluated by Dr. Simmons. Well, I, w I was not sleeping very well. I had um, experienced TMJ. I was grinding at night. I was um, completely miserable, <laughs> um, exhausted, and uh, it seemed that it didn't matter which doctor I went to, nobody could figure out why this continued, even though I had tried other drugs and possibly other snore appliances. My issues still didn't go away. Karen, tell me what happened after you were examined by Dr. Simmons. I had a sleep study done, and during the sleep study they determined that I had sleep apnea as well as restless leg, and the combination of the two was not allowing me to get a proper amount of sleep at night. So from that I went on to um, medication for the restless leg, and then I also used the CPAP. I was given a CPAP machine to try, and that was very successful. You know, I understand you went to see a number of dentists for your TMJ problem, is that right? But I had no idea that sleep apnea and TMJ were related until my doctor told me about it and diagnosed me and has resolved me. I understand you're no longer using the CPAP machine. Now, how are you being treated now? I have moved from the CPAP machine to a tap appliance, which I brought with me. Uh, I had this tap appliance made for um, that is able to go over my teeth and then from from that um, it holds my jaw in place so that the um, TMJ is no longer flared up at night and I am not grinding and I'm not snoring and I'm resting and I'm comfortable and I have no pain no headaches or anything and I'm off the machine. You know it's really good to see you doing so much better. Now, some of the other problems before we get to the testing